It's the Gear Tester here, and welcome to another plywood penetration test. In this video, I'm going to be comparing the ability of 9mm versus the ability of 38 Special to penetrate through a stack of 3 quarter inch plywood boards. I'll be shooting a 115 grain full metal jacket round out of the 9mm. I'll be shooting a 115 grain Remington hollow point out of the 9mm. I'll be shooting a Blazer 130 grain round out of the 38 Special and 125 grain plus P round, a Remington round, a soft jacketed hollow point out of the 38 Special. We'll compare and contrast the ability of the 9mm and the 38 Special to penetrate through plywood. Okay, so we just shot a 38 Special. We have just a solid, and then we had a plus P hollow point. Then we had standard nine. I think this is standard nine. Uh, aluminum cased, blazer. And then Those we- Those are both hollow point. No, then we had one hollow point. Okay. Right there. So we're just kind of testing here the differences between 38 Special and nine millimeter in terms of penetration. Got one, one board's through all the way. Two boards are through all the way. You can see there. Okay, and we're starting to see the hollow. I think this is, I know that's 38 special. Oh, we got 38 special, only three boards in. So let's look at that. One, two, three. That's the hollow point. That's the hollow point, 38 special. That's the solid. And the solid went into the fourth board. Okay, so we're already seeing that 38 special does not penetrate as far as either a full metal jacket or a hollow point. Um, nine millimeter. Nine millimeter. Okay, we're seeing the nine millimeter still going through. I'm comparing Remington ammo in terms of the hollow points here. We're seeing nine is continuing to go through. Nine is continuing to. Is it? Is that deforming there? Yep. Stopped right. No. No. One of them continues to go through. Wow. Okay, so the full metal jacket nine millimeter. All right, and this is cheap Blazer ammo with the aluminum casing went through. Let's count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay, and into the eighth board. Wow. That's something that, to be aware of. I mean, this is why full metal jacket can be dangerous, okay, because it can penetrate so far through stuff. That's why we use hollow points. And the hollow point nine went into, okay, it ends right there, definitely. So it went through one, two, three, four, five boards. So we're talking about two more boards in terms of the hollow point Remington versus the hollow point Remington in terms of 38 special versus nine. So nine millimeter went two more boards through than 38 special. That's almost 50% further. Almost 50% further. And this is why when it comes to comparing revolvers and autos, not only does a semi-automatic pistol like a Glock or a car or a Smith & Wesson shield have more rounds than a standard J-frame, but the ammunition is more powerful. So with a revolver, you're limited on ammunition and it's less powerful than a nine millimeter. And if you're using full metal jackets, if you're just worried about wow. penetration, that's pretty amazing to get through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boards wow. there. So just something to consider when you're thinking about 38 special and nine millimeter in terms of carry guns. So it's pretty clear to me from this plywood penetration test that 38 special is about 60 or 70% as powerful as 9mm. The 9mm definitely has 38 special beat in terms of penetrating through plywood. I understand that plywood and living tissue are two different mediums, okay? But plywood is very inexpensive and it's easy for me to to procure and then shoot and it gives me a good idea of uh, the penetrating capabilities of these rounds against one another. I've been carrying the Smith & Wesson model 442, okay, this particular revolver for every day for a month and I enjoy it but I've been carrying it as a backup gun as a, a complement to either my Glock 26 or my car PM9 here because I was aware that 9mm was more powerful than 38 Special and also that 38 Special <laughs> 38 Special like this little snubby J frame is limited in terms of round count and that's something you need to consider if you're thinking about using these guns either for personal protection or as a concealed carry firearm you know, the 9mm, the Glock 26, has 10 rounds. This has 5 rounds. you got twice as many rounds, and they are more powerful, okay? They will penetrate further. This test also shows me 
that you need to be careful when you f have to fire a pistol inside of a home. You know, a stack, a sheet of plywood is a lot better at stopping bullets than a piece of drywall and then a stud and a piece of drywall. And so either 38 Special or 9mm is probably going to go straight through a wall with no problems. I'm not arguing that 38 Special is not lethal. That's, that's not my argument here. A good 38 Special jacketed hollow point will do a relatively effective job at stopping a threat, but not as good a job as a 9mm. And that was what I was trying to personally understand. I like both these guns. I would recommend the Smith & Wesson Model 442 if you're looking for a good uh, snubby revolver. I think it's a great pistol. I also would recommend the, the Glock 9mm to you or the Car PM9 for that matter. Uh, if you like this video, if you're interested in more plywood penetration tests, I would encourage you to subscribe to my channel. I've done some of them over the years and I'm starting another wave of testing. I'll have a playlist that is uh, linked down below in the description of this video if you're interested in other plywood penetration tests. And uh, I'd just like to thank you for your views and your subscriptions. This is the Gear Tester signing off.